What is up Replica fans, Replica Reviews back at it again, got another review for you, but before we dive into this, if you haven't already, do me a favour and hit that subscribe button, make sure you've got those notifications on so you can be the first to know when we drop our next review. So with that out of the way, let's dive straight into this one. So fairly excited about this one guys, as you will have seen from the title in the preview, this is a pair of Air Jordan 4 Fire Red, um, the 2020 edition, these came from Kicks Up, as you can see they came DHL. They also come double box. No bubble wrapping on here though. But box still isn't in a bad state. So let's get a look around that. So these shoes have already released um, as a shock drop on the sneakers app. Um, only a limited number of pairs. The official retail release happens later on this month. Um, so we'll get a look around the box now. So we've got the standard Jordan 4 lift lid box with the red jump man and flight on there underside of the box is the kind of black cement so the gray with the black spatter pattern on it now because there has been a retail release there are differences between this and the retail pair currently and um, this is now the nike air branding on the retail box that we will see nothing around here and then the bottom of the box is just your regular uh branding uh commercial branding with your uh, sticker on there so we've got the box label again this takes a different form on the retail pair so this will be different i'd imagine when the updated pairs of this shoe come out they will update the box this uh, washer hole here also not on the retail box we see now there's a cut out at the bottom here which is much more like the original box for the shoe so if the box wasn't what interested you for coming here let's get into what's in the box Upon lifting the lid, the inside of the lid is that all red. Got the StockX sticker. A pair of Adidas socks, which I find hilarious sometimes when they mix brands when you buy them. Um, StockX leaflet. Got a bunch of receipts and things here. The white shoe paper. We've got a Nike leaflet here. Something about the Nike tag here. I don't know whether that's something about authenticity or a factory leaflet or something. But they do come with Nike uh, plastic tags on them, but we'll discuss that once we get there. Um, now, these come with the kind of garbage bag paper in them. The retail pair does not. and um, They come with the kind of white with the cement pattern on them. Silica gel packs here up any moisture damage in the shoes. Uh, now I do believe there should be a StockX tag in here somewhere, which I've currently dropped, it's not important anyway. So yeah, take the paper out of here, you can get a look at the inside of the box. Comes with the green kind of RFID security tag type thing, whatever it happens to be in there. Like I say, Comes with the garbage bag paper, which is a little nod to the original, as that's how they come. Um, so we'll put this off to one side, and we'll bring the good stuff back. Right guys, here we have it, the Air Jordan 4 Fire Red 2020. Um, now, like I said, I was quite excited about this. I'm looking to pick up all the OG colorways as well. So we've had the white cement, we've had the bread, um, or the black cement. Now we've got the fire red, we're just waiting on that military blue um, with that Nike Air branding on the heel. Uh, I'm still to pick up the white cements, uh, so that'll be on my list somewhere in the future. But right now, with the fire red in hand, let's get a look around this. So as they have uh, retail-wise updated a lot of the shapes and stuff of the fours, um, I've not had a retail pair of fours, so I can't make the comparison. The shape on these doesn't look... Too bad. Materials used here, that all white leather upper. So you can see how plush that is. You can see it crease under where I'm touching. The materials are nice on there. And around the toe guard as well. We've got these red plastic lace eyelets and then the black plastic wing on here for the laces up here. Black mesh covered by the um, white plastic netting. That goes all the way up the tongue as well. There is the black mesh under there. Moving around onto the heel again, just before we get there, show you this leather again. It feels really nice to the touch. You can see the texture on it there. 
plastic heel tab here with that classic Nike Air on there. Cut around here looks a little bit rough, nothing major. Could easily be fixed. And then plastic pull tab on the heel here. Round to the other side again, more of that supple white leather. Black plastic lace wing with the red lace eyelets on here and here. Black mesh covered by the white netting. All leather turn at the top here. Again, that lovely white leather. Got your flight patch on there with the jump man on it. Now on the retail pair, the tongue has returned to more of a sewed behind this piece of leather. As uh, if you watch my bread video, the tongue on that isn't fantastically sewn together. Um, looks like there's a bit of unevenness here, but the uh, material itself looks relatively neat along the back of the tongue. Looks relatively level. Not too bad. We've got the Air Jordan logo on the back of the tongue. Inside of the shoe, we've got the black insole, the red Nike Air on there. And if I can show you this side label, I'll give it my best. Because it's just in a rather awkward place. And then moving down onto the midsole, you've got that painted midsole. Paint on it looks relatively smooth. Again, you can see there, there's no obvious brush strokes or anything, so it's nice and neat. A couple of areas that are maybe missed out. Looks like it's come short a bit here. Again, like I say, it looks relatively neat. Looks like there's a missed area here. Again, I might just fill that in with a, a black Sharpie or something just to fill it out. And then we've got the red area. Around the midsole, your black painted area here, and again, there looks like there's a gap between the red and the black here, just where the paint is. Air unit on this, totally clear with the red in the middle. Just try and show you some of that as best I can without the reflection from the light. Grey area around here, that classic Jordan 4 outsole, red Nike on the bottom, grey and red. You've got your grey area around the top with the stars on it. Comes with the classic Nike hang tag as well, the Nike Air. That thin plastic one. I believe my bread pair came with a pair of those, uh, with a set of those on that as well. So take the shoe tree out of this. Again, you can see the toolbox area here. Leather is really supple, nice and soft, good quality. You can see the stitching as well and the cut of the panels. Plastic eyelets in red here with the black plastic lace wing. Um, and then you've got your black mesh underneath here, the rubberized white cage. Cage on the tongue running all the way up as well into that leather area up here with your jump man patch on there. Looks as though it's sewed on relatively straight. There's something I really noticed on this one. Doesn't look too bad. And then we've got the leather moving all the way around, the black mesh, the white cage here, black plastic wing on this side, plastic heel tab on the back with your Nike Air logo on it. And again, the cut of the leather doesn't look too uneven. Just a little bit, maybe. And then moving on to the inside, you've got this red liner, the Air Jordan logo on the back of the tongue. White laces on these, no spare laces with this set. I don't know whether that's the same as the retail pair or not. Um, and then we've got the Nike Air on the inside here. I can show you the size label again. I'll do my best. Just really in awkward positions on here. Uh, and then we've got the elasticated areas on the tongue in here, as you can see, so the tongue is elasticated in there. Midsole, that painted area, again, you can see there's no major brush stroking or anything, so it is relatively smooth. Again, though, there's these little exposed white areas, nothing major. So there's a bit of black bleeding into the white here. 
Again, you've got your red inside the air unit. Grey and red around the toolbox area. Look like there's a bit of bleed from the grey paint onto the red there. And then that standard outsole with your Nike and red. Hey guys, what we'll do right now is we'll throw these on feet and then we can talk about size and comfort. So here we have the on feet guys. Now I ordered these the same way I order any other Jordan, which is uh, true to size. And they fit perfectly true to size, comfortable on feet and do fit like any other Jordan 4 I've ever ordered in the past. So overall, a very comfortable and nice looking shoe. So there we have it guys, that is our look around the Air Jordan 4 Fire Red 2020 from Kicks Up. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, please make sure and hit that like button. Check out the rest of the channel for other content like this if you haven't already. And hit that subscribe button, get those notifications on so you can be the first to know when we drop our next review. Try and drop at least two reviews every single week. That could be a mixture of clothing, shoes, football shirts, soccer jerseys, anything else I happen to pick up in that time frame. Um, and also, leave me a comment down below of what you thought of these shoes, shoes you maybe want to see us pick up in future. But for right now, this replica review is signing off, and we'll see you on the next one.